Our country's fallen heroes were honored today at many solemn Memorial Day ceremonies. One of those moving services was held on the Cruiser Olympia at the Independent Seaport Museum, where crowds were reminded of the brave sacrifices made throughout our nation's history. Eyewitness News reporter Anita O oh is live at the Vietnam Veterans Memorial at Penn's Landing with more. Anita. Good evening, you can Jessica. Well, it is, of course, a very meaningful day for those who have served and also for the families of the fallen. And today we heard the names of each American soldier killed in service since this day last year. And veterans say that they hope those sacrifices are never forgotten. It's just a day of honor. The mood somber and the weather equally so. Veterans and civilians gathered on the cruiser Olympia at the Independence Seaport Museum to honor our nation's fallen heroes. They're my brothers and sisters. I am forever indebted to them. Launched in 1892, the SS Olympia is the world's oldest floating steel warship. Fire! Navy veteran Joe Eastman fears the history of soldiers' sacrifices will be lost. Unlike when I was younger, uh, we seem to have forgotten what this day is all about. Like the day they took up the call of duty for service, some veterans say they now have another cause. We had to pass on the legacy of their death and their heroism. So if we don't do that, an awful lot has been lost. And that's why a large crowd marched in Bridesburg for the city's oldest Memorial Day parade, started in 1947 by World War II veteran Edward Dubeck. They passed away. We do it in his memory now. We march, rain, shine, it doesn't matter, we march. For a sacrifice that can never be repaid. And here at the Philadelphia Vietnam Veterans Memorial, etched into the granite are the names of 646 Philadelphians who died while fighting in the Vietnam War. And today, of course, we remember not only those names, but every name of our fallen heroes. For now, live in Penn's Landing, I'm Anita O, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Anita, thank you.